David of Baltimore, Maryland, see more better, freeprescriptionlenses.com, and I'm going to cut the Invisible Essilor Ideal Advanced Invisible Bifocal with Crizal Sapphire for your Oakley 3174 Barrel House, the 53 eye size, and what color is this? Wait, it should be written on, no, I forgot to even write it down. Let's find out what color it is. Let me take everything out of the original packaging. Oh, black, I remember a matte black, satin black, let's just see. Of course, the little comes with a little demo for your lens, which I won't be needing. I'm show you how I'm gonna trace your lenses. Take everything out now. This is your Oakley. You don't believe me? Oh, Oakley carrying bag cleaning cloth, which doubles as that. You can use this to clean your lenses. First, you have to spit on your lenses, then use this to uh, to clean them. Comes with a little plastic sleeves on both temples to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm gonna put that on there when I ship to you. This is the Oakley Barrel House at 0 0.5. I don't know why they couldn't put in just 0 0.5. And again, it's the 3174 color 01, the matte black in the 53 eye size. So they send out this little template to use to cut your lenses. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to everyone at Flight Fab Aerospace. It's a little company that they that David works with, works for, works owns. Oh, and by the way, but they send this out to use as a template for cutting your lenses, but I'm actually gonna use your lens as a template for, for cutting your lenses. But I'm gonna send back all the original packaging, including a little string. Should you ever need that to go around there, you'll have that. I'm gonna put this back in here and I'm actually going to drop it in this little back flap where there's some more junk mail in there because you just don't get enough junk in your regular mailbox. But before I begin, he saw Larry's ugly picture, dirty Larry, by the way, and he wanted me to have a picture of his dog, Jorge. <laughs> Actually, his name is George, but uh, if uh, he's the boss of the home, that makes him uh, the jefe, which is Spanish for boss. Um, so he is jefe Jorge for the rest of this video. <laughs> now, isn't this a much better looking uh, person? than him this actually is david by the way after they say that when uh, you have your pets you start to look alike after a while and uh although the dog is more handsome than david but uh this is jorge he is david george because ricky bobby has already been taken so let me move this over here actually let me put it down here for the rest of the video so where am i at oh i gotta program your shape into the computer you are shape 1384 secret agent 1384 by the way, um, that's when uh, oh, oh, the Battle of Lisbon happened in Portugal where the Castilian army attacked. And uh, so David, David George, you're responsible for all the fighting that's been going on in Spain ever since then. And Portugal. But let me program this into the computer. This is volume 1384 of my 250 million part series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned for the other 250 million videos minus 1384. So where am I at? Oh, I need to take your lens, get this little chart, this graph. I had a pen around here somewhere. There we go. And I'm going to put two dots on this chart, this layout graph. I just want to make sure I'm using a straight line. You know, I gotta concentrate. Gotta get quiet while I concentrate. Make sure that's straight. If you guys miss any of that, let me recap. <laughs> I don't know how many times you're gonna get that tonight. So I'm gonna pull out the original lens, and I do that by pulling down on it and pushing outward. So years from now, David, if you ever need new lenses, I can't help you. No, I can mail them right to your home, and you can pop them in if you're good with your hands. Um, and I'll show you some of the work that David's been doing in just a little bit. It's very impressive. When I saw what he does for a living, it makes me realize that I play in the mud with a stick. That's what I do. But let me get uh, my $40,000 tool. This is $1. This costs $40,000. They throw this in when I buy this. And I'm going to pull the paperweight, just like the stickers on the, on the blocks. I'm going to... The reason why I put those two dots on there... There's a, another line on the back of this, and it tells me that it's laid out in there perfectly. Now, before I had black posters on the wall, it was very easy to see these dots on the lenses. I have to find a, a white spot and line up those black dots there. So, there we go. That's on there. Press on there firmly and hit start. We're going to start tracing the right lens. 
It's going to ask me for the width of the bridge, which is 18, which is the preset number. I'm going to hit check mark. And a little stylus is going to go around and trace the outside of the right lens to know what size and what shape to cut. Go back the other way. There you go. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic frame and you'll receive one free pair. Does say Ray Man? One buy an Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. Oops, someone just paid me. Loving it, loving it. You've received one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you'll get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. And he will get a treat because he's a good boy. <laughs> So, you know, it's funny how we talk to our pets, stay and be a good boy when we leave. Do you think they really do stay and, and, and be a good boy while we're gone? I don't think so. So this is a block, or as I like to call him, Jenny from the block. So I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I need two double-sided adhesive stickers. Look, I got two here. I can make two more pair of glasses, then I can retire. Or until I run out of this roll. Although I just ordered another roll on Friday. So... The black side is the sticky side. I'm sticking that onto the... I did on the first one. That's the second one. On the back is a magnet. That's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to something magnetical in the arm. And I had a viewer tell me magnetical is not a real word. But it is. It's a real word if I'm using it. And uh, so we're going to line up that magnet with something magnetical there in the arm. Take the right lens that I have already laid out. Every invisible bifocal comes with two laser marks on there. I put a dot on each one. I lay it over this layout chart with those two dots and it tells me where the center of the lens is. The actually strength of the invisible bifocal. I'm going to get this. I just got this poster from my Harley Davidson rep. I'm going to have it right here. Harley Davidson next to BMW. That doesn't seem right, but you know, hey, that's where it's going. And then I'm going to blow up a picture of, of Dirty Larry and have it right here on this wall. So, Take this lens, we're going to lay up, oh, let's go on to the next screen. So i got to add your pupillary distance, which is 60, divided by 2 is 3, divided by 3 and 4 is still going to be 30, because that's as far as my computer will go. 30! Let's raise the bifocal height up, actually I measured beforehand, we're doing 20. There's a formula I use to figure out where to put the height of the invisible bifocal. That formula is I try on David George's lens <laughs> and then put a dot in front of my pupil. <laughs> because as we know, everyone's nose is the same size. So we'll never run into a problem there. I'm very scientific. I did put it on a human's nose. I should have put it on his nose and see where it fit. But the reason why those dots on there, it tells me where it's laying out. I know, I know. Just get to work. Let's raise the height up to 20, 20. Layout chart for a progressive. And then I'm going to brag on some of the work that David and his co-workers do. And I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Grab that same pupillary distance, same optical center height that it has copied from the left. Now David and I are going to go into business. We're going to open up a hot, do hot dog cart in uh, Jerusalem <laughs> because uh, with all the uh yeah because no one over there eats pork so I think I think we're on to something I'm gonna hit this uh button and that's gonna place the block on the left lens now this is the edger this is what's gonna do all the work while I run my mouth anyway let's just go ahead and get going you guys have seen all that wake up the computer 1384 this is a uh, string mount it's going to cut a groove into the lens i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens i'm only going to put a safety bevel on the front blah 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 line up the magnet there into the chuck or as i like to call it the i'm going to start calling it the david because i don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck i'm going to hit the green arrow which is start the door closes the door that i need to clean by the way um, the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right side of the frame. Look, it looks like that if I turn it around. Beep, beep, start. 
So the cutting wheel is starting to spin. Water will be spraying on the back of the machine there. Polycarbonate, it's only there to catch the optical sawdust, also known as Schwarf. May the Schwarf be with you. But, uh, the uh, polycarbonate lens is cut dry where plastic high index plastic and Tribex lens is cut wet. I do want to say that your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. Look what happens to George when I do that. Now, polycarbonate is what our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and flying debris. It also is the same type of lens material that uh, OSHA requires for people who work on factory floors. Anytime someone wants to manufacture something, they need to be wearing polycarbonate lenses. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection. And speaking of protection, this is what David does at Flight Fab Aerospace. Pretty cool stuff. It's um, has come back up here. Aerospace and defense manufacturing. He builds aircraft carriers in his bathtub. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Where's the photo guy? Look at that gun right there. Holy cow! I think that's gonna. I'm not gonna be able to fight back with my spit gun, but I do have a rubber band, and then I'll use a paper clip with my rubber band so he oh look at that ah uh, David will you build me another rubber band I can't believe it. I still got old blue here but look building stuff for satellites space systems we specialize in space flight hardware for NASA of course you do David so David builds all this and what uh, let's go to the photo gallery come on where's the photo gallery is this it look Big cannon launching things off of tank or armored vehicles. Keep going. What have we got here? Stuff for howitzers. That doesn't look like it's, um, oh, what is the right term? Office ergonomics where you have to bend over to do something. You're going to have, uh, you know, back and knee problems. And especially hearing that. I hope they're wearing good sound protection. Look, it looks like he's built stuff for the Lunar Rover. Missile systems for destroyers. So David, what I want to know is, what are you compensating for? Why are you building all this stuff? Why can't you just leave well enough alone? I don't even know what that does. ORU mass simulators. There's that gun again, I think. On the side of the helicopter, wherever it is, the A-10 Warthog, I don't know, that 50 caliber gun. But it's impressive, I'll tell you that. So, I wonder if he gets to go out there on the aircraft carrier. So, so he needs glasses in order to do his stuff on his keyboard to build. So in order to launch a missile, he has to do controlled off F7 on the keyboard because what happened was before he could actually control it right, he actually did a control alt F8 and he sent flowers to his enemies. And do you know how that is embarrassing is? <laughs> to send flowers to your enemies so that's what he needs me for personally i would have put that red button down here where the black one is and the black one up there but that's just me the government didn't ask me how i was going to do it that's why david got the contract and he also uh, wanted me to take this time to announce that everyone at flight fab aerospace is going to get a raise if they click like on this video now dirty larry is going to leave a comment asking you to leave a a like on his video don't do it if he reaches a hundred likes he has asked me to send him a black frame I haven't agreed to do it but I just like his concept so um, don't you think who is better looking I agree with you I think Larry you're gonna be replaced by Jorge <laughs> for he's more loyal and I have to admit, Larry's great at installing garage doors, but he's terrible at fetching. So, we're going to go with uh, this cute little, cute little guy. Let's take the lens out, dry it off. I need a paper towel. By the way, um, these are the same paper towels that defense contractors use <laughs> because they're just, they're the quicker picker-upper. <laughs> Let's go ahead and flip this over to L. These were developed and used by NASA also because when you spill out in outer space, you got to be able to pick up pretty quick. So it doesn't float around space. Put the lens in, hit start. Let's go ahead. 
run this around, dry everything off, pull the block off, use my hand approved drying method, throw that back in there. Where shall I stick the sticker this time? There's a little flap there. See, this is, uh, this is my amazing aerospace engineering. I stick that on there. So I hit start. I do want to come down here. The reason why I was beeping is that's not putting a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. So I want to come over here. I will do it manually. This is a $150,000 machine. It is the Edge Diamond Hand Edger. Novatic system out of Los Angeles, California, which is right next to Baltimore. If you don't count that 3,000 miles in between. So I'm going to run my thumbnail around, get the optical sawdust off, and just drop it on the floor. Drives my wife crazy when I do that. Go around, get the optical sawdust off the edge of the lenses. Let's clean that. Get a little fluid on there. Dry this off again. Also clean up all my black dots. I'm going to have to dot this up. Come down here. Place the lens in here. Now, David, if you ever need lenses in the future, and by the way, he, I'm going to be doing some uh, Ray-Ban 3025 Aviator lenses for him. As soon as he gets these and try these, He's been wearing over-the-counter reading glasses up till now. So this is a guy with million dollar contracts who's buying discount glasses off the internet. Now the frames are not discount. I have to charge them at a, a full price. Where's my strap? Where'd my strap be? Ah, there it is. It fell in there. So grab hold of this. I'll slow it down on the next one show you guys how to do it better. Come down here. I'm going to have to use... Put the dots back on the lens. Can you guys see the 2.0 right there if I underline it? 2.0, that means 2.00 bifocal strength. In addition to what's on top. Get everything laid back out, put those two dots there. Very scientific, isn't it? And I went and got this laminated. This is just a regular piece. But I got it laminated in case ink ever gets on there, I can wipe it right off. And if you guys miss any of that, let me recap. Oh, you know you're getting it. I'm going to start charging by the bad joke. I'm going to charge every time I have to bend over and pick something up, too. So your prescription, excuse me, let me get that out of the way. Such a waste. We've been together through so many in the last couple weeks. Put the power drum on 110. Put it in just above that black dot. Read the power. And I'm getting minus epsilon dash no i'm getting 150 exactly halfway between one and two that's because you need plus 150 you need six steps of far-sighted correction that's why there is a plus sign everything far away is much too small and up close it's even smaller but you need six steps of far-sighted correction now once everything is the correct size your lens is magnified just like a magnifying lens whoop 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 and Sorry while I amuse myself there. I don't need any of y'all. I'm just going to play with myself. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't joke about it. You know that what? I was so poor growing up that there weren't any generals in my toy soldier collection. So I had to go to my room and play with my privates. <laughs> oh, you moan, but you'll be telling that joke tomorrow. So once everything is the correct size, you have four steps of astigmatism correction. That's what makes everything nice and crisp. That is the fine tune knob. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob from the back molar to the front teeth to the other side of the back molars. So 0, 90, 180. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob to about 110. Now your left eye, you only need four steps of spherical correction. That's why there's a SPH. You have no astigmatism. I think that's how it's pronounced. My, my sticks to, to patisms. Um, so that's why there is no axis. <coughs> now, you have what's known as a two add. It means two more diopters in addition to what's up top. So if you were to get reading glasses for your right eye, you need a 350. You add that together. You add plus one and plus two and you get a three. Let me just clean that. Okay. But you guys have a really nice brush up there for cleaning your hardware. Look, I'm trying to put that back on the magnetic thing. Checkmate, you sank my battleship. <laughs> so, where are we at? 
David, will you build me an aircraft? Oh, build me a satellite. That's what I really want. My own satellite. All right. Dry everything off. So he suggested that I make glasses for the... Actually, I asked, what would it take to make glasses for the government? And he sent me this form. And he did say, you only need to look at these couple pages. But somehow, when I hit print, it printed off all 67 copies, 67 pages. And it literally killed my printer. My printer died halfway through because it was overheating. But as my wife says, that's what you get by buying the cheapest printer they have. So once all the optical sawdust is off the lens, I carefully collect it neatly into one pile. And then I wipe it on the floor. <laughs> so, where's your glasses? They're down here. Let's take out the lens. So in order to get the lens out, you thumb your nose at the idea with your thumb at the nose. Now I grab the lens by the other side. Use this finger to pull upwards on the frame. I put this other thumb on top and I push down with my thumbs. Pushing this way. Well, pulling this way. Pushing that way. And it'll pop right out. To put the lens in, I rotate the, the frame right side up, tuck it in at the outside corners, then at the nose, making sure that little string. So you have two holes drilled into the sides of your frame. You have a string that goes through the bottom hole and tucks in the top. Same thing, goes through the bottom hole, tucks in the top. I'm going to try and take that extra little bit and get it into the groove of the lens. And really, the groove is in the heart. Dun, 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 dun. The groove is in the heart. Don't worry, I won't quit my day job. I start at the outside corner and run down until you hear the little snap. Now it's in there, but that, so is that. That's stuck in there. So I need to put a finger on top. Not this finger, not this finger, not my ring finger. This finger. If you guys can't tell, that's the finger I put on top and then I slide that out. So... I don't want to lose that again. I'm going to tuck that up there. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Let me just double check. I don't want to mess up and use the wrong dot. Dun, 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 dot, dot. Dot, dot. Dun, 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 dun. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. Now, say it with me. If you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> So I'm going to come down here to the lens o meter put it in above that block dot and read the power. And I am getting plus one. Spin this around and I'm getting the same power. Nothing changes, which means there's no astigmatism correction in there whatsoever. Now your pupillary distance is 60. I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick. One of my newer PD sticks I just got. Now, I did not order your lenses through U.S. Optical. They are not an Essilor supplier. I do get some other lenses from their line style bifocals. They are the fastest lab in America. And I love their PD sticks. And they just sent me some more. So when I place it against uh, your right lens, hold it up to your left, we're getting 60. Let me check the very scientific optical center height, the vertical decentration, 20 and 95. Oh, no, wait, that's 20 also. I didn't know there was going to be so much math involved. I mathed wrong. So, uh, I've also moved my tissue so I don't know where to find them at. So this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses. I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Baltimore, Maryland is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these are going to fit too loose or too tight. However, there is an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments, providing you bring your dog in with you. Or free adjustments to all dogs who bring their owners with you. I give a lifetime warranty on all glasses to people who are 95 years old that are accompanied by their parents. So... I also field test every cleaning call to make sure that it works. So when you get these in the mail, if you see there's a wrinkle, uh, you know that it works. So, but I'm going to get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter, and there's, look, there's a little bit of a wobble. Oh, wait, okay, now there's no wobble. When I say wobble, when I take mine off, I press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. 
This is embarrassing. I forgot to switch to my Oakleys. I am wearing the Ray-Ban 2132 because I'm getting ready to cut lenses, uh, polarized invisible bifocals for David's next pair of glasses, the Ray-Ban Aviators. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. Yes, I bumped the camera. Flip that over, no wobble. Close these temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Now, David, this is your first pair of invisible bifocals you've been wearing over-the-counter reading glasses. Here's my sales pitch for the invisible bifocal. They cost more, and you're going to hate them for the first week, and then you're going to wonder how you ever lived without them. That's because everything we do at our age, we do so well because we've done it so many times. This is a new tool. Believe it or not, that's all this is. This is a tool you wear on your face. It's a nice piece of fashion, but it's also a tool. It's going to magnify at the top. It's going to magnify more in the middle. It's going to magnify the most at the bottom of the lens. So the top half of the lens is for distance because you naturally just look up to see far away. You can't help that. That you've been doing your whole life. This middle part is for computer distance. Fingertip reach, the very bottom of the lens is designed, it's called the working distance. If your elbows were touching your sides, arms bent at a right angle, if you were threading a needle or trying to get a splinter out, that's what the very bottom of the lens is for. It's called a progressive lens because as you look downward, it progressively gets stronger and stronger. So just be patient. Remember to move your head up and down depending, I call it the bobblehead syndrome. You're gonna be moving your head up and down trying to find that sweet spot. Is it 20 inches, is it 30 inches? Is it 20 inches, is it 30? Now. Nine times out of ten, it just requires, keep your eyes focused on something, but raise your chin up. It just requires you to, nine times out of ten, you're going to raise your chin up to get something into focus. The one time out of ten, you're going to need to lower your head. Stairs, steps, curbs, escalators, attaching the leash to your dog. Normally you look down. Now when you look down, you're looking through the full magnified version of the lens. Object and mirror may be closer than they appear. So... If you tuck your chin in towards your chest, that forces you to use the top half of the lens. If I were to tuck my chin in towards my chest, now you can see whatever you cannot reach is the top half of your lens, and you cannot reach the curb or the steps. Now again, I mentioned that we are creatures of habit, so don't worry, David, if you fall down a few flight of stairs, you'll get the hang of it. Just learn, learn if you're right-handed, learn to fall on your left side. And... Uh, Make sure you hit your head, because I'm going to tell you the same thing my dad told me. It's a good thing you hit your head. You could have hurt your shoulder. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dads, what a great sense of humor. To give you an idea of what kind of humor my dad has, is that my birthday is in November. I won't tell you the date because it's unlisted. But he would buy me a rake and then tell me, why don't you go out in the yard and play with your new birthday present? And then one year he bought me a wheelbarrow and then some other tools. But by the time I turned 18 and I could move out, I had enough tools where I could make money doing landscaping and uh, it's funny how dads we, we pick on them but they're smarter than the, than we give them credit for because he knew I could always make a living while I was in college cutting grass mowing stuff and that's why to this day I enjoy working outside in the garden except for yesterday I spent two hours anyone who's on the east coast had upwards of 50 mile an hour winds during the night and then during the day so I had a lot of branches come down so I spent an hour and a half cleaning up about half an acre. Some of these branches were 20 feet long. I would take one, put it on this humongous pile, and then drag the pile over to the road where my neighbor who has a tractor could grab them together and, and carry them out further in the woods. That's a good thing about living in the county. He can just take them out in the middle of the woods, the forest, and dump them up there so that little bunnies and other animals could make nests in there. Be safe. Be safe from defense contractors. <laughs> so, so Elmer Fudd with that gun would walk around saying, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbit. So again, everyone at Flat Five, Flight Fab, he told me I was going to say that. And I promised I wouldn't. Everyone at Flight Fab Aerospace will be getting a raise tomorrow. So you got that going for you. Or everyone with a dog named George will be getting a raise. I can't remember which one it is. I'm always getting those two confused. No, I'm just teasing. Guys, David... I don't want to, I shouldn't tease. I'm sure you run a great company. I don't want to speak um, on behalf. I know you guys put out some great product. I'm very impressed on what you do to keep our country safe at night. I don't know what I would do. That's what, how I can get into a deep snore is because I know you're out there helping uh, those who are, who are protecting us. So where am I at? Oh yeah. 
So, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make Larry jealous that I didn't draw on, on I'm going to draw some lips or some little rabbit ears. I'm, not, I'm really not much of an artist. But uh, George is just, Jefe Jorge is just too beautiful to, uh, I'd rather destroy a stained glass window than to, to the take away of any of George's beauty. So, David though, I want you to send me a selfie of you and George together. Or you can put the glasses on him. I've had people put glasses on their dogs and send me their picture. Either way, that would be great if you could do that. So, I'm going to put your picture up there next to Dirty Larry's for future things. Anyone else who I do a video for and you send me a picture, it's going on this wall. How's that? We're going to make it happen until this wall is no more. But if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. If you need to email me discreetly, you can hit the Contact Me button on the website, or you can email me directly at FreePrescriptionLenses at gmail.com. If you don't care about being discreet, leave a question or comment in the comments section below. That way everyone can read it. I have been told in order to like the videos or to leave comments, you have to set up a... YouTube channel. It only takes a couple seconds to set up uh, that. But leave a question or comment. Root. <laughs> it's one of the labs I order from. They send me out a update every night at this time. What time is it? 7.01. Monday, February 25th. 56 degrees in my hometown. In my underground bunker. And uh, in my undisclosed lair. That's where all those bad guys hang out. But... Uh, David in Baltimore, Maryland of Flight Fab Aerospace. Thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 3174 color 01, which is the matte black in the 53i size. This is the Barrel House 05. You got the Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses and Polycarbonate with Crizal Sapphire. This frame sells for $190. Your Essilor Progressive Lens. I need more coffee. Sells for $149.99. The Crizal Sapphire is $139.99 for a total of $479.98. Please send more business my way, David. All your employees, if you guys need safety glasses, I can do that for any of your people there so they don't uh, hurt themselves building some great products that I see here. Anything you guys build for NASA, that is just awesome. Awesome. Great company. So... That's it. Again, thanks for watching, and everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.